filmed without the benefits of cages or mechanical sharks. However, rubber sharks were included. Taking tips from Batman, I see. That's right. You keep on swimming. Because I'm Batman. Jump on this shark week three. <laughs> Jaws of Death. Welcome to my first review on my Shark Week 3. This is day one, titled The First Bite. This movie is awesome. The plot! One man, friend of sharks, starts to trust one too many people and things begin to happen to his sharks. A killing spree ensues, naturally. It's a slasher and creature feature. The plot is so simple and could have been so generic or even a superhero movie. However, this was handled with care. <coughs> the acting is solid. There's a big body count around 12, I believe. And I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Let me backtrack. Oh, shit! Gravity is not my friend today. The actors and actresses all play their parts well. Richard Jekyll is someone I've never heard of before. He plays the main character and portrays him as a shy guy until someone attacks his sharks. Then he gets all stabby. Stabby bastard. Using things such as gaffs, hooks, knives, and sharks as weapons to kill off the ones deserving of such death. I caught the shark! Fish are friends, not food. Please! No, not the gaff! Not the gaff! Yes, it's a 70s movie that was made for TV, I think. I was engaged throughout, and I definitely recommend it to fanatics of Shrek movies, and hell, check it out if you're into sleazy 70s slashers as well. Overall, I give Jaws of Death a 3 out of 5. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe.